When news broke of the simultaneous defeat of several imperial orders, the emperor's son, Prince Luther, received his father's blessing to create a new order. The prince was young, desired glory, and he found companions just like himself. The order recruited only the younger sons of nobles and skilled mercenaries. No one knew then that the seeds of corruption and pestilence had already started to sprout in his soul. Just a year after founding the order, which he named the Imperial Sons, Prince Luther headed the Second Crusade into the Plague Lands. This time, they planned to destroy the remnants of the traitorous orders in one fell swoop and then retreat, not entangling themselves in a fight with the pagan natives. The prince was joined by Lord Ingmar and his order, the Emperor's Messengers, as well as Gerhard Eisenhorn with the Order of the Crushers. The Imperial forces attacked the traitors' camp from their march, and the battle seemed to be leading to the enemy's complete destruction. But the entire crusade turned out to be an elaborate trap. The Plague God's promises had already lodged deep in Luther's and his companion's heart. The corrupted and pleasure-seeking youths easily accepted the Plague God's gifts, betraying the Empire and the whole of mankind. Attacking the crushers from behind, the Imperial Sons sowed chaos in their ranks, destroying their battle readiness. The corner crushers surrendered to the mercy of their victors. The Imperial messengers kept their formation, retreated, and left Lubenia. Lord Ingmar could not bring himself to attack the prince. That is how another, the last, crusade into the plague lands ended in catastrophe. A catastrophe from which the empire could not recover. To isolate the plague lands, the emperor ordered the Order of White Shield Bearers to build a chain of fortresses around the forests of Lubenia and defend them day and night. Ian I ordered the Scarlet Angels to search the Empire for outbreaks of pestilence and destroy every damned they encountered. But filled with a sense of justice, the Scarlet Angels spared damned who still had their minds, believing that so long as a person's soul fought with the pestilence, there was still hope for them. 